nine. Incredibly, Complexity sitting on an eight nothing lead right now. And I know that Team 3D wants to win this round to stop that momentum that Complexity has built up and gain some momentum of their own going into this second half where that's gonna be their only shot at $50,000. Right now, we're taking a look at Team 3D on the overhead. We can see two members headed towards the Ivy Alleyway, moving towards that outside bomb site. And we can see also now in that blown up section of your map, the ladder room. Here we go, coming down the ladder. Oh, and Complexity's gonna get the best on that one. Taking out one member of Team 3D, making the numbers game a five to four. Make that five on three as two members of Team 3D get annihilated in the uh, middle area of the outside rail yard. Here you can see the bomb carrier now. Three members left alive here for Team 3D. Down to Complexity's two as Team 3D makes their way to the outside bomb site to get that bomb planted. Bomb planted. Complexity down to just two members. Can they clutch it? Two versus one to fin finalize their half at a perfect nine to zero, or will it be eight to one? We'll find out here in just a second. In here we go as Complexity works their way towards the bomb, yes. making their way down there. Oh, one frag there, nice by Complexity. Let's see if they can get another one. There it is. Complexity pulls off the clutch, and that will make the score nine to nothing. A perfect half for Team Complexity. I know them, dude. Take a deep breath. Just one round at a time. Be the aggressor. Come on. Let's go, nice. guys. One more. Good job. One round. Ten Good job. Come on, guys. Let's go. One round at a time. Let's go. One. Just get this round right now. All right, guys. You ready? Go, guys. One oh, round. All we need. Round. That's all we need. Let's go. Go live. Woo. Come on. Round ten. Rivalries normally would be close, but this so far has not been. It's been a shocker right now. Team Complexity on top of Team 3D. Nine to nothing with one more round will secure $50,000 for Team Complexity. Now, one thing you want to be paying attention to, ladies and gentlemen, Team Complexity in the yellow jersey is now going to be on the terrorist side. They're going to be the ones who are going for those bomb plates. And here you can see right now the counter terrorist defending that inside bomb site as Team 3D is right there waiting for Complexity, but Complexity going to reply with a kill of their own. Now they get entrance that. into this inside bomb site. They're going to go for that bomb plant immediately. There you can see one of the members of Team 3D coming up on the left hand side of your screen, taking out several members of Complexity, it's down to a one versus two, and it looks like Team 3D could get their first round on the board, down to a one versus one, we have uh, the final member of Team 3D on the inside upper, the bomb is down, not been planted, and here we follow the final member of Team 3D, splits yeah. the final member of Complexity, takes him out, right, and that's right. going to be it, finally Team 3D will pick up their first round, five, making five, the five, score five, nine five, to one. Round 11. And Complexity is looking for that 10th round win, that $50,000 round. And we'll see whether Team 3D can come back or whether Cole will have their number. Right now, we can see to Complexity head into that inside bomb site right now. Here, let's see whether they're going to get shaken up. Yes, they will. In fact, oh, it is a slaughter in the inside bomb site as Complexity gets blink. obliterated blink. by Team 3D. Team 3D putting a second round on the board and making the score 9-2. to two. Round 12. Surprisingly, there's still life left in Team 3D as Complexity striving and striving for that 10th final victory round. We'll see whether they're able to achieve it here. Here you can see we have a sniper headed up into that top upper roof area. We'll see whether anybody's able to pick him off. Nice strategy by him. And we'll see whether he's going to get some nice kills. Five on five still. Nobody died yet for either team. And there we go. Complexity going to take the first fatality. And it looks like the sniper taken out on the roof as well as Team 3D pulls out an early lead in the numbers game. Five members of Team 3D to the two members left alive for Complexity. Here you can see one of them here at the back by the electrical box able to drop one member of Team 3D. Not sure if they'll be able to get another as they're trying to lock down this outside bomb site. And you can see the last two members of Complexity here. Two members left alive for Team 3D. The intensity in the arena right now is off the hook as these two teams are battling it out for $50,000 and Team 3D is one round away from elimination. Complexity inside, takes out one. Can they win the two versus one? No, outside, Team 3D dropping a member from Complexity, taking things back to a one versus one. This could be it. This could spell the end for Team 3D as Complexity grabs the bomb. He needs to know where he's at, but Team 3D peaks. They got the round win. That makes the score nine to three. And Team 3D is hanging on by their fingernails. Round 13. Complexity still needs only one round to win, but Team 3D feeling pretty good about themselves, having won the first three rounds in a row of the second half. They're building that momentum up, and they need it badly because they are down 9-3 to three right now. The formula for Complexity is simple. Win one round, go home $50,000 richer. 
following complexity looks like they're gonna head out the ivy alley and an early kill there from team 3d losing another one his complexity down to just three members here they go heading towards the back of ct spawn two members left alive now only for them oh it's down to the final member for complexity let's see what he can do he's picked up a gun but right sure right won't be enough right as team 3d right claims right another right round right making the score nine to right four round 14. If momentum means anything right now, folks, complexity has none of it, and Team 3D has it all. Four rounds so far this half, complexity's got none. However, it's important to remember that oh, Team 3D needs need five rounds to force an overtime, and that complexity won nine rounds in the previous half, and therefore they're on game point. There we can see an off here for the, in the hands of complexity. Oh, a nice off shot there by Team Complexity. Team 3D is down in numbers, five to four, but they're gonna equalize it with another frag at the Ivy Alleyways. Complexity dropping another though, down to two now. Whether or not Complexity can clutch two versus four to finish off Team 3D for $50,000, we'll have to see. Down to just one now for Complexity, back by the electrical box, gets taken out by the guy on the sniper deck, and 3D's comeback continues, making the score nine to five in favor of Complexity. Round 15. Complexity has been waiting five rounds to clinch this match. The longer it goes, the scarier it gets for them. Let's take a look at what their tactic is going to be this round. Here you can see three going in the inside apartment area, working their way down that staircase towards the inside bomb site. And Complexity is, is moving their way inside. Oh, Complexity losing one member, make that two. And that's a huge disadvantage for Team Complexity. They're gonna be facing off three versus four as some of them grab some guns. And it looks like they're gonna try and work this inside bomb site. Or no, they're passing the bomb to the guy who's moving towards that ladder. So he could decide to go to the inside right bomb site or the outside bomb site, depending on what the other two players do. Jason Lake watching over the shoulder of Danny Montana there. Here you can see him inside with the off for complexity. Going to be using that sniper rifle. Oh, he picks one off. No, that no. is huge. Evening the numbers out at three apiece. Complexity going to move to the inside bomb site. Hey. takes out a second. Can he do some more damage? Oh, Save. the third for Danny Fraud Montana. That's down to a three versus one. This could be it. This could be the win for complexity. Danny Montana there with back, the off. Back, taking back, down back, three. Back, 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 Let's back. see. Here we go. As complexity gets that bomb play. Now there's not much time for Team 3D, the final member here at the Seahawks, and that's it! Complexity wins! Danny Montana with the final frag. The score will be 10 to 5 in favor of Complexity. There you go! That was amazing! Team Complexity takes the championship. They were all over 3D right from the start. Complexity, very overjoyed. Team 3D, uh, very bummed. And Aaron is down by the celebration, going to get a word from our winners. You guys were up 9 nothing at halftime. How hard was that last point? It must have taken forever. It must have been really working on your nerves. Uh, not really. We were very confident, and we just uh, came up short in a few rounds, and we knew that if we could keep coming up short, we'll eventually get our break, and we did it in that round. Okay, all right. You got, you got good plans for that money? Uh, yes, I do. How about you, my man over here? Did you enjoy the, the championship gaming invitational, your first trip to San Francisco, having a good time? It was awesome. It's great for DirecTV to run an event like this, you know. It really opens up a lot of doors for teams like us. Cool. All right, these are your Counter-Strike champions. This is Team Complexity. Let's hear it for them. I've got Moto here from Team 3D. Now, you guys were the ones favored to be winning these matches. What went wrong? Um, we really didn't get the momentum we needed to first half, and this format of Counter-Strike is completely momentum-based. Sewell took the momentum from the first round and managed to take all the rounds first half. We did, we did stage somewhat of a comeback second half, taking five of the nine rounds, but Sewell managed to pull one out, and they took the title. Anything from this point on that you would go back and change? Not right now. I mean, I really haven't given it too much thought. We just got off stage. I mean, I think we're all kind of just dreading the fact that we had lost, and we lost the championship, but... You know, a week down the line, maybe I'd have an answer for you. <laughs> well, I think you guys put in an excellent effort, and to reward you for it, I've got a check for you here for $15,000. Great job, guys. All rise, everybody. This is Team Complexity, Counter-Strike champions at CGI. Give it up for them. All you guys need is a teddy bear, and you can win $50,000. First off, I hand to the team, the manager. Here's a bunch of certificates for Best Buy. Hand them out to the team. Spend wisely. And now, I have an envelope. $50,000 for winning at CGI.
And I have one more piece of hardware for you. This can go on your mantle. You're gonna have this forever. We give to you from our lovely Mountain Dew girl, the coveted Dew Award. Champions of Counter-Strike, raise it in the air. 2006 champs, Counter-Strike from DirecTV. Have a good time and go celebrate, boys. Thank you. Woo Thank you. We are not out, people.